Well, welcome to Monday's focus group, everyone. Beck McQuilty here. Um, welcome to the Frequency Soul Collective. For those of you catching the replay, um, hopefully you will be able to catch up on everything that we're doing this evening. Um, I've asked Debbie Jane to come on as well and talk a little bit around um, social media because she's really amazing at social media. I try, admittedly, um, and I've done quite well. I've, I've started myself a TikTok account and I've got some followers and I've got it all going on. So I'm doing okay. But I researched all of that myself initially because I thought I'm going to start a TikTok account and I want to see and learn as I go. So I still haven't mastered it, but I'm definitely learning. So I think um, consistency in any form of social media is really key. And, and same with your business. Consistency in your business is really important because as much as, you know, even for me, I obviously go away a lot. I have lots of stuff going on with Addison from a homeschooling perspective, but I never, ever will drop the ball completely. Like we just came back from Hawaii only a month and a bit ago. And even whilst I was there, as much as I had downtime and enjoyed my family time, I also managed to still do a bit of business while I was over there. So I like to think that I'm continually you know, filling the funnel, so so to speak, um, to make sure that we're continually got people to talk to, people to scan, and then, of course, to be able to bring people on board. So I think consistency is probably going to be the word for the evening. Uh, it's really important that we do um, stay on our game. And as I say, you know, we all have stuff happen and that's 100% okay. But as long as you're doing the main things, even daily, like absolute minimum, which is connecting with new people, um, talking about what we have with Solex. I think that's the other thing as well that, you know, and being public on social media about what you do. A lot of people um, may or may not know what you do. So making sure that people are aware. We were talking the other day, Debbie, Jane and I, about um, maybe doing a little bit more information on the Frequency Soul Collective group because that's our customer group and our prospect page. Um, so it's probably a good time to really start ramping that up. Now we do have a lot of testimonials in there, but to be able to actually educate people around what frequency you know, work is. It was funny, I had my nails done today and I had a Cephi dot sitting on here and um, the lady goes, what's that? And I was like, oh my gosh, like I could explain it to you, but I just feel like, I was thinking in my head, I'm literally going to be wasting my words because she is not going to have an absolute clue in regards to what I was talking about. And of course she did not. She, um, I, I was trying to explain for someone who doesn't understand frequency at all, um, it's really hard to explain. So I thought maybe if we start to just start with what is frequency and, you know, putting up some videos and things, um, from YouTube even, or some explanations of lives that we can be doing, just explaining what the energy and frequency work is that we do, and then the device as well. So um, we thought that that might be a good idea also. So DJ, do you want to start with just talking a little bit into um, your the social media side of things, um, if you like, and we can just kind of bounce off back and forth as we go. I think the other thing is too, for those of you who are reasonably new, um, a group that you may not be aware of that we have is called Raise Your Vibe Tribe. And what that is, is a social media posting group. So it's a team from here in Australia and in, New, um, not New Zealand, but soon to be, um, and America that uh, a group just on chat, the, like the messenger chat that go back and forth that if you have a post that you put up, then you share it into that group, into the into the chat group, and then it allows people to know that the um, that the post is there and to be able to comment and like the post for you. Because um, one of my business partners in the states, Jessica Tobias, she actually has had a really great success rate um, in signing people on from her Facebook posts. And that's predominantly because she gets her posts what they call boosted. So that's at least 10 likes and comments within a short period of time after posting it. Um, and then the post actually gets seen a lot more. So 
If anybody wants to be added to that group, um, then I would ask you to pop a comment in the Frequency Soul Collective group that you want to be added and we can move you over to Raise Your Vibe Tribe. We used to have specific times during the week that we did it. We don't now. Um, we actually just do it whenever we want to post, but then share it into that group. So the message will come up. We'll see that someone shared their post. We'll click on that post. We'll go in, um, you know, like or love heart it and then make a comment. And the comment always has to be a minimum of four words, just so you know. So rather than just going, that's great or something like that, actually writing something a little bit longer is what actually gets your post assisted in boosting. So that's just something to, um, to be aware of and know that that group is available. So it's called Raise Your Vibe Tribe. And um, that's uh, Jessica Zavios' team in the United States and our team here, not just in Australia, but Australia, New Zealand, obviously everywhere. So anyone who wants to be a part of that, um, please just let us know in that um, Frequency Soul Collective chat group and we can add you to that. So, um, so DJ, I'll hand it over to you. Hello. Hi. All right. Social media. Well, firstly, I want, just want to say that I've been doing this for a very long time. So if you go to my page and you think that I'm some kind of rock star, please just know that I've been doing this for a very long time. So it and it does take time. And so first and foremost, I think the most important thing to be is yourself because people buy you, not what you do. And I feel like that has been a significant shift in why, why people are attracted to, to me is because I show up and I'm really authentic about who I am, what I stand for, what my vision is, how I be in the world. And that speaks volumes. And people, it's a little bit like the Steve Jobs um, story where, you know, people will queue up for Apple devices, not because the devices are, I mean, they're, they're a phone, but it's because they bought into his vision and who he is and, and what he stands for in the world and how much he was, you know, contributing. And I feel like that's, that energetically is uh, the first and foremost thing that attracts people to you. It's not posting, I don't post anything on my page about, you won't find a single post about um, products or anything like that on my page on my story I'm, I speak into frequency and things a lot but I don't pitch uh products at all because I want people to want I want people to connect with me because mm -hmm. I want to work with people who are just like me <laughs> you know yeah. and um and I feel like that's really really powerful and some like really practical things are like around that raise your vibe tribe um as far as engagement and things go I think it's really important in this busy, crazy world that we live in where there is so much visual stimulation that your posts are really, like, your pictures are, like, really simple and they're just a picture, like, of you or, you mm. know, of a, like, they're really, they're simple and clear and don't make them busy and with all things all over them and, and because people are remember that people are just on their devices doing these this one this all day long and it's what what they're really drawn to is you know often is like a really nice photo of you and then um one of the things that I always do I think that engagement the engagement groups work really well but I'll tell you what really works for me and it's a reciprocity piece about energy engage on other people's posts yeah before you post yours Mm. always always go through and just go start scrolling down your news feed and as you see things start to like and like with sincerity not just for yeah. the for the goal of getting something back but be really you know be really authentic and show up because your little profile picture is your business card all over the internet mm. and so when you go and visit other people's pages and they see that you're writing nice comments or you're encouraging people or cheering them on in their business or whatever they're doing in that speaks volumes about who you are and how you show up online and so then when you then so I'll do that for about 10 minutes or so and then I post my post and I always get immediately start getting engagement immediately 
and remember that when you start getting the engagement you it's a it's a science so don't just let don't just like post your post and go out and carry on with your day it, it, there is a process in that first especially in the first 10 minutes of when it's posted you need to be engaging you need to be liking people's comments and saying thank you or responding in some way so it shows the algorithm that you're actually your page is active and engaging you're not just posting stuff because there's a lot of people out there that use those softwares that just post randomly like throughout the day they preload all their their uh, posts and then because the, but they're not engaging straight afterwards and they want to see people that are engaging and so even if you can spend the first 10 15 minutes just starting to um, engage with the people that have liked your post and also I think something that I, I know that we're all really different and in fact I I um I logged into the portal the frequency cell collective portal is a freaking gold mine mm. There is so much information in there. It's incredible. And there is Trello boards and prompts and things in there of, of you know, things that you can, like, even you don't, they're just, like, peaking your, making your brain start to think about what you can post about. And um, I also, another thing that I do is I never post, I always post with intention. So I always feel into what it is that I want to say, and it comes from a really heart-centered place and so people feel that and so then I, I think that is another reason why it's that energetic reciprocity where people are feeling you know, they're feeling like what you know who you are and, and what you're sharing and that seems to get a, so if I'm not if I'm busy or I get distracted or if I'm in the middle of a post and I'm like oh I wanted to get this done before such and such a time I, I'm out I, can't, I go no nah, this isn't the right time and then I wait till it is the right time and I don't I don't think that there is it makes no difference to me now what time of the day I post mm. morning noon night whenever it's the same and I truly believe that it's a frequency thing and the other thing that um Paige is obviously a rock star at and um just give her a wee shout out because I watched her <laughs> human design is something too that I've really started to get into in the last year or so and it has been really powerful and Paige in the portal has a incredible how-tos with you know finding out what your human design is um, how you can show up in that way so that you actually are a magnet to people because you're actually being true to who you are and how you show up in the world and so for me I'm a generator and so if I'm lit up and I'm excited. Other pe I don't have to even try. People are just automatically just drawn to me and my light because I'm just being, um, you know, I'm just being me. And I'm excited. And 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 so obviously it just draws people in. But there's all there's all different profiles, and we're all here with a different purpose. And when you figure out where you fit into that, and you start looking into it a bit deeper, you'll understand like why you do the things why you feel the way you do and why you do the things you do and it actually makes you you just get a real peace in your heart about how you show up so you stop comparing yourself to other people and how they show up and you just be really true to who you are online and 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 talk about the things that you know that you love to talk about and then it it takes the the struggle out of it so what am I going to post and what am I going to say and you know it just I think that when you have if you have that energy behind your posting it you're not going to get the the engagement and and the feel and remember it only take you don't need to have hundreds of likes or hundreds of comments you only need one person to see what you're you know who you are and and, and resonate with your story and your message and next minute you know you're they could be a part of your team and they can be a part of this this you know they align with your mission and I feel like that for me that is more important that I really align I can feel it now when I'm engaging with people I can feel if they are or they're not and it, and there's no um and even in my inbox if there's resistance I don't I'm just like you know and, and that's totally fine and it's not for you and it doesn't make them wrong 
it just means it's just not for them right now and and um and we move on and so we don't get stuck in it being in, in stories telling ourselves that it's difficult or that you know it needs to be hard I feel like I feel like the the truth of who you are is what really speaks volumes in the world where we're living in we're trying to figure out who's who in the zoo and every profile you know there's people showing up in ways that we if we know them in real life it's perhaps not quite what we're seeing online so I think it's really it's really important in this day and age to just really you know show up in your truth and that, you know videos are great that I'm not a huge video um person I really love to share my heart and share my my on my social media and with words so I write but I don't the other thing to bear in mind is if you're going to write big big long stories um start a blog mm. because Facebook is not about long long posts you know people start to scroll up and they're like oh I'm out you know we it's fast paced people might be on the train or you know busy in their life and and they don't want to sit there and and read if people go to a blog if they want to read a big long post and blogs are amazing and they get a lot of traction as well so they can actually be their own marketing funnel mm. um, if you know how to do that you can go down that route but yeah just keep I just think it's about keeping it real and um, what was the other thing and also to get people ask people a question is always a good doesn't need to be a call to action it's just asking them a question at the end you know who else is feeling this too or you know it's just something really simple I like share your heart and say anyone else resonating and then you often you'll get yes 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 and that increases your um you know your presence online and the engagement so that's always really powerful um if you use instagram just also understand that they're very different platforms so Facebook you will only be seen by a, a portion of your friends so people that you know or friends and followers but Instagram is a whole other platform where you can get a much much wider reach if you use hashtags and you know and and good quality photos it can actually you know be quite and photos and reels so Instagram is becoming a lot more of a video platform um, there is, I'm not sure if in the portal, I don't think that uh, Crystal goes into that, does she, into the reels no. thing, no. That's a whole other thing, um, but it's really powerful. Like one of my reels ended up getting 1.4 million views and there is a method to that. There's a, there are some methods that you can follow to help, you know, get get the your eyes on, on your reels, but um, you can still use the same good you know quality images and if you are into um you know like and, and same with thing with instagram if it doesn't fit in one if it doesn't fit in the in the actual description part and you have to start putting it take you know breaking it up into the comment section it you know <laughs> it's, don't, don't do that it's just it's too because once the people start commenting too it all gets jumbled up and it's difficult to find you know where it continues on so keep it short and concise and to the point but I really believe that uh, from my experience having been in the marketing I've done so much social media um, training and I used to be an affiliate marketer you know and I've been to lots of conferences and things over the years and there's a lot of talk about algorithms and all of the things but I truly believe and especially now that we're in the frequency medicine business that it's all about frequency and that we match our frequency matches so make sure it's no different to when we're doing our inner voice scan and we ask you know you say your name and and you're speaking out your intention or you know like it's all to do with our intention is really powerful when we are posting on our socials because um, so just to be, you know, just be mindful of that when you are posting of where you're at and how you're, how you know, if you're in a hurry or you're feeling, you like you're just doing it because you feel like you have to. It's highly likely that you're not going to get the engagement that you really want. And um, I think that's all I have to say. I just, I really encourage that um, you to do the, 
do pages um human design stuff i feel like that will really open your mind up to a to a lot in these podcasts and once you start going down that rabbit hole you really learn so much about yourself and how you show up in the world and it just starts to make everything you just have all these aha moments about who you are and why you're here and why you do the things that you do and it makes marketing easier it makes marketing your business easier because at the end of the day it doesn't matter what we want to call it we're in sales Mm -hmm. that's what we do and so you can you know but but it's you can sell products you can sell devices you can sell or you can sell a vision you know and that's the difference you know we're selling it a vision and people are catching on to the vision and what's possible and being a part of the solution and all those kinds of things I find right now in the world that we live in with so much still so much uncertainty a lot of people seeing you know the health system crumbling we're seeing you know people getting sick and looking for solutions and we have a solution but not only do we have the solution we have a movement and a community which is so powerful in the in today's world where we're all moving together with the same goal and unity and you know collaboration with practitioners having access to all that there's just so many things so I I tend to for me I've had a a really productive last few weeks <laughs> it's been incredible and it's mm-hmm. all come from sharing that it's sharing the vision of you know what's coming and and how we get to all move together and yeah it's really it's really powerful there's a lot of people running around social media posting pills potions and lotions let's not be one of those people (laughs) let's let's be different and and really really show up in the in the really like we're raising the vibration of the nation and I think too DJ like even if you've got like whether you've got potions lotions or whatever as well if you're doing social media right people will know that anyway and you know if you're tapping them into the right information you know you can still build whatever it is that you're building you know uh, based on that you know so I think that the intention is really important you know for me I put a post up and admittedly I was the bad person who put the post up and then ran away I did do that last night (laughs) And not intentionally. I think I just got carried away with it being Sunday or something. I don't even know. But um, when I, I still sort of, I think I stuck around for a little bit. But do you know that post um, had 80, 87 like likes or loves or whatever and 20 comments? You know, and all it was was a photo of me. And I wrote... As your vibration raises, it becomes a non-negotiable on a journey to happiness. You notice more about how you feel and it becomes a priority. Then you start to lead with how you feel and it all starts falling in place. Choose you, choose happiness. And it's such a simple message, but I have been coming across so many messages in the past few days that I read and I'm like, oh my gosh, that was written for me. And when I wrote that, it's it's exactly that, you know, what is your intention when you're writing a message? And for me, that had nothing to do with selling anything, it wasn't, it was just, it was actually to share that message with people and the, the comments that I got on it as well were just really lovely, you know, and I know that it inspired some others to, you know, to do, to actually speak out a little bit. And I've saved posts that, um, that I've literally, I've see if I've still got them here because I was going to repost them. One of them was surround yourself with people who fight for you in rooms you are not in. Mm. I thought that was really powerful. I love that. I was like, yes, that's so cool. Um, the other one was I want to be around people that do things. I don't want to be around people anymore that judge or talk about what people do. I want to be around people that dream and support and do things that was really like just posts like that like they also have this really similar theme um yeah because you can feel can you feel it though when you speak those words out that it's actually a vibration that you're emitting it's not yeah, you know and I had somebody 
I had somebody screenshot your message last night, send it to me and go, she's just described exactly how I feel. Oh, no way. Really? Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's so cool. So that's that. exactly what I mean. It's that's what that's it, yeah. you know, and, and it's evoking, it's evoking uh, emotion in a, in, and remembering that there's been so much disconnection, isolation, persecution, you know, we've all yeah. been subjected to varying degrees of all of those things. And so what it really stands out now in the crowd when you are inclusive. And you're talking about, you know, coming from a place of love and raising your vibration and wanting to be, wanting other people, be surrounded by other people just like that. And there's just this hunger yeah. for that next level. It's a hunger for the next level. Like, where are we all heading? And I want to be around people like myself who have that same vision. And it really, really comes across in that that post was excellent I thought thanks oh thank you thank you yeah I just yeah. I'm really kind of digging into um the feeling of and then posting based on that and making sure it's not and you do see posts that are like you know um what's the word like um you know that subliminal messaging you know that kind of nastiness and that sort of stuff that sort of oh. stuff I just, you know, I can't even stand those types of posts and I don't engage in them or anything like that. But the ones where that you read and you take it from a good place and then give it from a good place because it resonates with you is, is such a different vibe, you know. And I think when you are coming from your own personal space of what you're delivering and how it's being how it comes across is how you are feeling at the time, you know? And I think that that's why my post last night when I wrote it was so important to me because I'm realizing eventually getting there that everything must start with how I feel. And that's why our inner voice to listen to that every single morning and start my day that way is brilliant, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's so powerful because if I can start my day in the right way, does it mean that everything is always going to go to plan? No, but it does mean that I'm going to handle it better and that it keeps me, you know, as Abraham Hicks would say, in your vortex. You know, it keeps mm. you in your vortex. It keeps you aligned um, to be able to keep going. So I think that when you're putting a post out there, no matter what it is, ensure that it's always coming from a good place and what your intention is behind the actual post. So, you know, I did one recently in regards to NDIS because I would like to be able to, you know, help people understand that they actually here in Australia can get a device potentially on NDIS. And so I put a post out in regards to that. Now, a girlfriend of mine who I know very, very well and I know that her son has um, some struggles due to vaccine injury. Um, and, you know, I never, ever knew that he has an NDIS account. And so here we could have been all this time and because I keep saying to her, bring him to me, I'll be able to help you. She's always like, I can't afford it, I can't afford it. But we've never had the conversation about how, she, how I can help her to afford it. So even just that alone, um, for her to understand that I can help people, you know, that have an NDIS account is amazing. And same with another girlfriend of mine, when I put that post up, she messaged me. She didn't comment on the post, but she messaged me. She said, you know, we've got an NDIS account um, because her daughter is deaf. And I was like, oh, yes, you would do too. Okay. She, and she's been talking about buying a device for so long but again, it's an affordability. And I said to her, I think I could be able to get you a device on the NDIS. And then she was supposed to come over on the weekend, but a couple of the kids were sick. And I said, we, we could be running frequency for them and helping them, you know? And she's like, um, uh, just, she said, send me an invoice for the big one. That was her response. And I was like, there you go. It's just about the more you talk to people, it's about finding solutions for them. Um, but it's what message you want to get across to people, you know. I mean, I don't post negative things very often on my Facebook feed, 
But you know what? Sometimes if you know what hits the fan, um, you know, I will be vulnerable and put it out there and share because I, you know, it's not all, you know, sunshine and rainbows and lollipops as much as I like it to be. Um, there are things that happen from time to time and I won't always share everything in my private life, but sometimes I will share things that allow people to see that other side of me that um, shows a bit of vulnerability, but also shares with them that it's okay not to be okay sometimes because none of us are perfect and stuff does happen. And for people to read that, I think those posts are powerful as well that people can resonate with and and learn from and and know that they're not alone, you know? So I think that there is so much to social media um, and I'm a bit like you, DJ, a lot of my stuff I do on either TikTok or Reels um, or like stories, but occasionally I will put the post out there about, um, you know, something to do with frequency. Um, but the other thing that I do, and this might be a bad thing, don't judge me for it, you but um, I delete people on their birthdays. <laughs> because... <laughs> And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Wait, 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 before you judge me. Because I have a lot of people on Facebook that I obviously don't know. I have 5,000 friends on Facebook. And so a lot of these people I've never met before. And a lot of them have never engaged in my, you know, in my posts or whatever. And like we were saying, people don't always see it. But, and vice versa, I probably haven't engaged much in theirs. But there was a a time where I was quite very heavily um, involved with the equine in industry. And so I was, you know, having a lot of people come to me in regards to my product back then. And because I've kind of shifted out of that, not completely, because I still do it with bioresonance to a degree, but the amount of equine people that I had, like horsey people I had in my world, like on Facebook was huge. And majority of them would never engage I still have a, a group that do and they'll always be there but so if you look at when people's birthdays come up on your Facebook you can actually then go to their it to their profile and I'll just have a look the last time or go to messenger and see the last time if ever we've even spoken and sometimes I will remove people so that I can allow space for new people that I do want to bring in, you know, whether it be in that in from holistic groups, people who are a little bit more like minded to me now um, that will probably see my posts and want to engage a little bit more. So, you know, it's funny, only a couple of weeks ago, I um, attracted a really lovely lady into um, my friends on Facebook circle and her and I have been having great chats and there's none of this selling product to each other. I'm sure one of us will get to it at some point, but it's not about that. It's actually about getting to know each other from a vibration perspective and, and knowing that we were meant to come into contact with each other for whatever that looks like, you know? So and I think too, when you do a, like when, if you're going to do a, like a really powerful post, that's like really heartfelt, maybe it is something to do with, you know, raising your vibration or, you know, how you're dealing with life at the moment, a reflection kind of post, and then follow up in your stories with how you maintain that. So, like, for instance, like in your real world, how do you use frequency medicine to help keep your vibration up? Like, for instance, my youngest son went for his driver's license the other day, so I showed on my story that I was sending frequencies to him so that he would do well with his driving test and he passed and that was amazing and it's just a little thing like that and everyone was like wow that's so cool like you can do that yeah, yeah we can do that but see how it was relatable because it's about my son and he's driving you know that's a relatable it's an everyday life thing you know yeah. so some people are struggling might struggle with weight and we've got you know specific frequencies that we can run for you know hormonal balance and weight loss and and we can show how we support ourselves with doing our inner voice and just making it really relatable to everyday life so that, you know, if you do your post, you really, you know, your nice post on, on your page, but then on your stories, you can start backing it up with all the little steps that you take every day that, you know, that you do to help or that you're helping somebody else. Like I was helping a, 
you know, I posted, I've had so much engagement from that post I did yesterday, the story where I said, you know, I found out that a friend's husband was in hospital and I started running scans for them. Mm. And yeah, that was Janet. They're actually friends of Janice's that I met who were interested in the device. Yeah, that's and I immediately reached out and said we need to we need to run them some frequencies, you know. And yeah. it was so powerful because the blood work was matching the frequency. Yeah. And they were completely blown away. And today they purchased their own device. Yeah. That's you know, and so that's how so it can good. happen because we're and, and it also shows that you're, you know, that, that we're here for a bigger we're here for that that's the vision and the mission, isn't it? To help each other be well. And yeah. um and so we become a product of the product when we are you know, in our doing our own frequencies and showing up online as somebody who is about raising vibration and frequency medicine and speaking into those things. And then when it push comes to shove, people can see that we walk the talk. Yeah. And sharing our testimonials too. Like, you know, I loved that. Mm. Um, I loved Paige's post today about um, the lurgy that her and I have had. Um <laughs> And we lost our taste and we lost our smell and that she created a playlist for that, you know, and for the first time I went, and, I went and ran it. I went and ran it. I, I put it into the device straight away because I forgot yesterday, but I ran it today and no word of a lie for the first time. And I can't tell you how long I actually tasted my dinner, which I was so excited about because I made the best lasagna. And it's not 100% back, but it like it's there, you know. And um, to have a testimonial like that is huge. So, um, and it's for all different things, you know. Who would have even thought, you know, to eat, you know, that you can run frequency for all sorts of things. It's not just a headache or whatever it is, you know. But yes, I'm going to do the Cephi dot too. Um, I haven't it's done actually yet. My- there's a lady who is part of Solex in another team who I've spotted on uh, TikTok. Um, and that's always a good way of learning too. How pe- TikTok's a really interesting platform if you're ever on there. Like it's every it man and his dog <laughs> showing up in all kinds of ways, which is totally, you know, any, pretty much anything goes. And so if you are really um, somebody who loves to do little short videos and, you know, and and are happy to do that. It's a great platform for that because it doesn't need to be polished. You can just show up in your PJs and do your work, and you'll find people, you know. But there is a lady. I think who I think the team's called um, is it Solex Life? I think she was the top enroller. I think a couple of weeks ago. What's her name? I don't know the, the lady's name, but I yeah. She you'll see that she's. Have a look, but you, you that'll just kind of give you a little bit of an idea if you're going to do the TikTok thing. Obviously, you don't copy her, but you know, like it just shows how she gets a lot of engagement and she just shows up with her device and she's doing all the things. And uh, it just goes to show that, like, her target audience they love her, they love her, they love what she's about. She just is a product of the product, it's, she speaks into it in all walks of all parts of her life. She's relating everything back to her. AO scan and okay. her AO scanner. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll have to um, check out. Life, I think, is her her little thing. Her little on um, TikTok. On TikTok, yeah, and she also, I've seen um on the Instagram on the Solex LLC Instagram page because she does stories. She repurposes her content across to Instagram. And I see Solex actually sharing some of her things. So just also bear in mind that you can tag if you're doing stories about bioresonance to put your little at Solex LLC or like their, put their little Instagram handle on your story through Instagram and they do share it. Like they'll share ah. it to their page. So there'll be other people then who will get to see your so that's how powerful it is on Instagram is just so much more powerful that way um so tag Solex and let them and it and it actually helps to boost their algorithms it gets their yeah. stuff so things will be seen more and um to get the message out so yeah that's another good little tip 
Yeah, that's really cool. And I think showing the device and how it works and, you know, when you're imprinting things or, you know, imprinting a dog treat or whatever it might be, people love animals. Like I need to start doing more of that, you know, imprinting mini treats and things like that. Um, and just showing how the device works and its capabilities a little bit more. Um, yeah, I agree. That's that's awesome. I've I, got people that I've run scans for. And then I've and I've also scanned their animals, and they're way more interested in the scan in the animal scans yeah. than they are their own. <laughs> yeah, true. Like, yeah. yeah, definitely. Actually, I did a consult for a lady the other day, and she um, messaged me straight after, and she's like, "Do you do consults for animals too? Because I want to do a consult for my dog." And I'm like, "Yeah, of course. You know, I can do that." So yeah, that's amazing. And I think um, the other thing I was going to ask you, DJ, is. And I know this is something Crystal, who's um, a friend of ours that, well, she gives me, she doesn't need to give DJ advice, but she gives me social media advice. Um, she always says to me, which I never do, by the way, post on Instagram and share it to Facebook. I just, I mean, I'm hopeless on Instagram. Yeah. Well, I, let me just say that if you're going to do, re, uh, if you're going to do stories, for instance, Facebook story platform is very archaic and and it just looks it looks terrible. I'll just be honest. It looks terrible. The fonts are terrible. The gifts are horrendous. The music doesn't line up with the the whole the whole thing's very clunky and archaic. But when you go to Instagram, if you have your Instagram and Facebook uh, connected when you send your reel through Instagram. The other thing with Instagram is that it has, it's beautiful and clear. It has really beautiful fonts that are very easy to read on the photo. Um, there's, they, they, I mean, gifts have kind of gone like just know that things come and go, and you know, yeah. the cleaner you can make it, all this flashing lights and and gifts and, and people gifts, dancing yeah. and all that is just not it's that was so last year yeah <laughs> keep it really nice and clean and professional and just you know with a little bit of a you know message to the side and I just feel like you know it, yeah I just it, it looks a lot more professional and not so busy we don't want to look like yeah not so busy and yeah. And, you know, pictures and things can be, you know, you know, if you're going to share somebody else's stuff too, always make sure that you put, because I've seen people lately have been screenshotting my stories and then posting them, which is just like, I'm like, oh, and they're people that I follow. So I see them. Yeah, <laughs> I see the yeah. Stuff go, oh, wow, they've used my thing that they didn't actually, um, credit me in that that's okay but then there are other people like Janice Bless she always says to me can I share that reel that you do well, of course you can yeah <laughs> awesome so Absolutely. social media etiquette is what it is but yeah just keeping yeah. things really clean and simple but definitely sharing from Instagram across to Facebook is a much better um, in the in the stories and if the you're going to share just remember always that. remember that if you're going to share across to your Facebook page Make sure that you take um, all the, if you're going to put hashtags at the bottom of your Instagram post and then share it across to Facebook, get rid of them out of the, you don't want a big lot of big chunk of, you know, of um, hashtags in the on yeah. the bottom of your Facebook post because Facebook doesn't, doesn't really work the same way and it just yeah. makes it look a bit like you've not really, that you've just shared it. Yeah. <laughs> which you have, yeah. but it's you know, um, that's just another little tip back just to keep it nice and clean and uniform. But you can do that. You can edit it afterwards or you can take them out and put the hashtags in the first comment of your Instagram post if that's kind of going to another level. But, yeah, yeah. you can do it that way too. You can do it that yeah. way too. But, yeah, I just think that it's a lot. Instagram have got a lot um, better um, platform for cleaner, nicer you know yeah the the marketing side of things from instagram is a lot is a lot more yeah i think it looks nicer 
I have to remember that because I, I don't. And so I have to start doing more of that. I think you lost Minnie at hashtags on Instagram. So she's out. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, she's, she's out again. Um, but Mel was asking, um, Melinda was asking on here, just in regards to LinkedIn, it's funny because um, one of our QLAs down in Melbourne, she actually just had someone reach out to her super randomly off LinkedIn and that person came on board as a QLA and is doing some amazing things. So it kind of really inspired me to pull up my game a little bit and connect with a lot more people on LinkedIn and actually start doing some posting. So I have, um, I don't post all the time, but um, I write for a, um, a magazine once a month. So I've been sharing that on my LinkedIn. I've been sharing a little bit more about frequency on my LinkedIn and just making sure that I'm connecting with the right people now because I came from a completely different industry. I'm connected with a lot of people from the motor industry um, because that was an industry that I was in for well over 20 years. I know a lot of people in that space that have, you know, pretty much zero interest in NEG and frequency and all the stuff that I do now, you know. So mm. I'm making LinkedIn is a massive, it's a yeah. massive platform. Like it's its own, it's its own thing. Like it's it's its own community. It's its own algorithm. It's really um, you can get really. There's a lot of information actually on how to market with LinkedIn. And because it's more of a business to business platform. Yeah. So you can definitely leverage off that uh, if you brand yourself, if you really got your branding dialed in and then you're consistent, like what Bex was saying right at the beginning of the call, it's consistency with LinkedIn and then you'll get more and more people. But there's a lot going on because I think because LinkedIn have also got groups and they've also got, you know, they've got like little subcultures within the within LinkedIn that you can actually join. And can become parts of communities and where you all contribute and you can get um top contributor you know stars and all kinds of like it's its own thing it's amazing yeah. for that and it's yeah but i would definitely focus if you're going to focus on focus on doing one really well rather than little bits across all platforms you know because it's yeah that that linkedin is its own thing the other one that's really powerful is Pinterest. That's yeah. a whole other thing. But the thing with Pinterest, just bear in mind, is that so every time you put an image, if you create a Pinterest board and you put a Pinterest, put an image on Pinterest, it will it will show up on Google Images. Oh, so just so you, just so you know, it's a it's a search engine for Google. So your stuff will be seen by a lot more people if you start posting things on Pinterest and then um, the idea the idea is to have so your picture when you put when you when you pin you know when you pin your picture to your Pinterest board it gives you the option to actually link backlink it to a website so you could have it linked to frequencycellcollective.com you Ooh. could have it linked even straight to your um your you know your Solex nation like our you know yeah, you sure. your affiliate link shop yeah you have it linked to that or your own website or whatever it is so it kind of circles back and you don't lose them so that's really powerful too there's quite a few um people that are that offer like free trainings on pinterest just on youtube i wouldn't go having to pay for things just just to get a gist of how to do it it takes so it'll take a while for it to start it takes about three months of consisting of being consistent and posting your photos onto Pinterest for them to sh start showing up in the Google searches. But you know, right. when we go to Google Images, you'll yep. see that most of the images there have a pin. They're all pin. They're most a lot of them oh. now are all Pinterest. They're all oh, from Pinterest. I've never even noticed that. That's crazy. Yeah. So that's a really powerful way of um of getting seen. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. Thank you. So I think that the goal for this week um, is for everyone just to choose one social media platform 
and to just start posting and playing with it. And let's just see, keep an eye out for each other's posts and really support each other in that space. And then let's come back next Monday night and um, talk about our experiences and how that's gone. I think that would be a really cool thing to do. Um, before we close off on tonight's call, thanks so much, DJ, for all of that too. That's awesome. Um, and I think there's a, quite a few takeaways for me that um, we might even do for our monthly training. We might even organize either yourself and or Crystal um, to maybe come on and teach us a little bit, like I noticed on one of um, Paige was saying, she's a bit scared of reels. Like maybe you guys could help yeah, train yeah, us a little really. bit on reels or something like mm -hmm. that so that we can then, or we could even just do it on one of our, you know, focus yeah. group Monday nights. It doesn't have to be the monthly one. Um, you know, potentially, you know, learn a little bit more about that. So then that week we can go and play with what we've learned and, experience yeah. a bit you know play with a bit more and you know come back and talk about it what worked what didn't so that might be a really cool thing to do as well yeah, that'll be good and when yeah. we're, we'll, ramp, we'll start ramping up the the um the frequency cell collective just the page where we put, put our people into so they get exposed yep. to a bit more frequency stuff yep and um there was something else that i was going to say and yeah don't forget oh and because i'm a little bit on the ocd side i obviously i I don't know whether you noticed, but I kind of got into the Facebook group and start created guides and yes, got a little bit amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Got a little bit it involved in that because it's really important for people to be able to find, especially when they're first coming on board. Oh, you know, it makes it so much easier. So if you're looking for the portal for the link to get to Pages Human Design thing that I keep plugging and the Trello boards and all the things that are in that platform. Um, the link is in that in the guides section of the QLA Facebook group. And um, I think that's the one that's just $99 for the year, but it's, yep. you, there is just, it's so, there's so many resources in there. It's fantastic. Super yep. easy to follow. And, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think it's really worthwhile definitely delving into that. Um, so we might even do a little bit of a training on, you know, with that on one of our Monday night focus group calls as well. Um, yeah, open it up and show people what's in it. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. um, before we close off tonight, we were going to just quickly talk about Punta Cana for those of you who are wanting to head to Punta Cana. Um, this, although the promotion finishes at the end of August, um, it really is important that this month you have your 15 or 20. Um, so 15 is for one person to go. And if you have 20, it'll be for yourself and another person to go. All expenses paid to um, Punta Cana, Hard Rock Cafe in the Dominican Republic in March next year, um, including airfares and accommodation. The resort itself is actually fully inclusive. So that's really cool. Um, but with the incentive... You need to increase your business by 15 people. So if you're brand new, then it's just 15. If, you know, you already had 20 people, then you need to bump it to 35, um, et cetera, et cetera. And those people need to be active for three months, including one of those months needs to be the last month, which is August for qualifying. So if you're brand new, I would recommend to have your 15 or 20 by the end of um, this month. So that then you're making sure that you maintain them for June, July, August, um, so that we can make sure that we put you qualify for the March trip. It is going to be massive. Um, there are already people who have qualified for it, um, but there's also still people working toward it. So you know, seriously, keep it keep it in your in your sights because I can tell you it is so achievable. Um, but it really is about continuing to do the work through this month and really, you know, stepping outside your comfort zone and, and seeing it in your in your vision, you know, and making it a non-negotiable because the minute you make it a non-negotiable, for me, I just decided I was going, it's a non-negotiable for me. Um, I need to just stop and, and retrack where I'm at now because I know that, you know, I've now got two weeks to make sure I've got the right amount that I need to then qualify that all the way through to August. So anyone needs any help with that, please just shout out, always happy to help. Um, but that's the basics of it. So we will love you and leave you at that for this evening. Thanks everyone for joining us. It's so good to see you all. 
and um, we will see you all again very soon. So I'm going to stop recording. There we go.